got a funny off on a dive today. It's a little bit rough today. But uh, I'll give it a go anyway. Blue wetsuit again. Just trying to look for a calm spot. Haven't dived in a while so this is my last video. It's going to be a bit rusty. See you in there. Definitely beautiful getting out here. Found this little waterfall. Definitely had to get in there. What's really refreshing. Should I bring some soap? <laughs> nah, definitely beautiful. About to get in. It's a little bit surgy, but you know, make sure you dive within your comfort zone. Uh, it's a little bit rough today, but I'll just give it a go. Just go for kidders. Uh, yeah, see what else we could get. Oh, did you see that? Yep, nothing. <laughs> please, please, I strongly advise do not try this. I've been diving my whole life and have a lot of experience. Now I know this area quite well, so I knew where the kinders were, but I forgot my sack. <laughs> now, if you ever caught in a little bit of surf, here's my tip. First, you want to stay away from the rock, normally where the waves break. You don't want to be caught up in there. Now, you want to look for where it's sand. Now, if you don't know, the Rugby League World Cup's going on. Shout out to Samoa and Australia making the finals. So spam your flags down in the comments. It'll be good to see where everyone's from. Now, what I do, I typically swim across the waves. Because sometimes when you swim behind sometimes it, there's shallow rock. And if the wave crashes behind you, you might crash on top of the rock. So you might have to swim around to get to your, where you want to go. Now, sometimes you can find breaks in the waves and go through there but when you get to the shallow you want to try get to your feet as quickly as possible sometimes you might worry about your fins it's best to stand up and walk backwards and brace yourself when the waves come in because you can lose a lot of gear i know that's not everything but that's some of the things i do check out the new witty uh backstrap for your witty float uh the float is uh full of kinna uh it was a bit rough out there yeah couldn't really see nothing but, as long as I made it back safe. But yeah, check it out. The witty back straps make it easier to carry a load. Just goes on like that. Tighten it. Put this on if you want. And you're ready to go. Check out the link down below. Got some awesome gear. Awesome family as well. All about surface shoe diving. The main thing is safety first. Drop in the comments anything I've missed. Truly blessed, got a feed of kinna. Now, where I was brought up, we were taught about the ocean, how to get out of sticky situations. Like, I don't know if this is common knowledge, but if you're ever stuck in a rip, there's a lot of techniques of getting out of it. When you start to get pulled out to open sea, don't fight it. The sea will always win. I know it's scary, but one technique is let it take while you while keeping your head out of the water. The main thing is not to use too much energy. Another technique is to swim out of the rip. Find out which way it's going, then swim sideways out of it. I'll drop a link down below for more information about it. I think it's really important to teach ourselves and our kids safety around the ocean just want to give a big shout out to everyone for following commenting i really appreciate please it. like follow subscribe for more thank you